Let's look back at that original problem now then. Solve the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 9x plus 3 equals 0. So this is how we set out our working and how we can use the formula to solve this problem. The first thing to do is write down what a, b and c are. For this equation a is 2, b is 9, and c is 3. The next thing you should do is write down the quadratic formula. x equals minus b plus or minus b squared take away 4ac. We need to square root all of that all over 2a. For the next line down, all we've got to do is substitute. So we're going to replace all of these letters with numbers instead. I'm going to put the numbers in in purple so you can see clearly where I've replaced each one. 9 squared 4 times 2 times 3 and then 2 times 2. Now if you're given a calculator to solve this problem it's very easy to do straight away all you've got to do is put all of that straight into the calculator. We have to do it twice. We have to do it once with a plus and then we have to do it again with a minus here. So I'll show you what I mean. Start with minus 9, then start with the plus. Square root of 9 squared take away 4 times 2 times 3 all over 2 times 2. Just put that in the calculator and it gives you the answer straight away in decimal form. So x is minus 0 0.363 or Instead of typing it all out again, just use the buttons to go back instead of that mi instead of that plus, replace it with a minus. So or x equals minus four point one four. And that's all there is to it. Let's take a look at the second example. We go through the process in exactly the same way. So we start off by writing down that a equals 5, b equals minus 4, we've got to include the sign, and c equals minus 12. Jot down the quadratic formula. Minus b plus or minus b squared take away 4ac, square root all that and put it over 2a. And then in the next line just substitute everything in and I'll put the numbers in again in purple so it's easier to see them. Because we had a minus 4 and a minus 12 it will change things just a tiny little bit here. I'm just going to put them in the negative numbers, I'll put them in, in brackets. And then that was minus 4 times 5 times by minus 12. Times by 2 times, over 2 times 5. Okay, at this point if you can if you put all of that into your calculator it will still work so if I start again and I put minus brackets minus 4 plus and then again keeping the negative numbers in brackets will help make sure 
I don't make any mistakes with the calculator. Take away 4 times 5 times minus 12 all over 2 times 5. That gives me one of my answers. x equals 2. x equals 2 or x equals and all I have to do is go back and change that plus before the square root sign into a takeaway. That gives me my other answer, minus 6 fifths. Or if you were asked to give that as a decimal, it would be minus 1.2. This example here can look a lot harder than what we've looked at before. It looks strange, it doesn't look like the normal quadratic equations that we've seen. In this last example we had 5x squared minus 4x minus 12. In this example we had 2x squared plus 9x plus 3. We always had a number at the end. That's missing from this equation. It's actually not that difficult and I'm not going to go through the whole example because we don't need to. We just need to put down that a is 3, b is 5, and for c we just say c is 0 and we still substitute that into the quadratic formula. In this example here same again, we say a is 4. Now we don't have any x's in the middle this time, that's missing. That just means that b must be 0 because there are no x's. And c is minus 7.